Hi, okay, so this is a little uh, explanation of how you can share your photos with um, Google. So the photos that you take with your camera get uploaded to Google's servers, so you have access to them on your computer, on any computer, as well as your phone. So the way to go there to see your photos is to go to this to Google Plus uh, uh, website and so here's the address which I sent you by mail plus.google.com and then you click around and then this is where all the photos are so um, as you can see these are my photos there's some stupid Halloween message uh, which will go away hopefully but here I'm sc scrolling these were the Louis Vuitton uh, photos and uh, I can scroll down Mom. A lot of photos, and then <laughs> there are some photos I took when I was unpacking my computer. Anyway, so the question is, how do you share them once you see them? Well, this is quite easy. Uh, so you uh, put your mouse cursor without clicking over the photos, and I don't know if you can see, but there's a little check mark that appears when you when you um when you hover over over one of these photos so well you can just click on the photo to see it in more detail so here it is i took a picture of uh, a uh, an ad okay whatever so but then i can use this to um to share the photos by selecting them and so i just hover over and then i click on the check mark and hello there we go so now i've selected one photo you can see up here it says one photo selected i can select a second photo there now i have two photos selected i can select another one there's three and i can use shift select i think to select several so let's say i want to select all the photos up to here there. So I selected all the photos from the last one I clicked to the other one by pressing shift, the shift key, and at the same time pressing click on the little check mark. And I can unselect something by just tapping on it. So unselect, select, and um, that's it. So now, okay, we can lo look back up here. I've got nine photos selected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I can do different things with them. And what I want to do now is just share them. Okay, I can just cancel the selection. Let's just do that. Okay, start over. Okay, nothing selected. Fine. I'm just going to share three pictures. I'm going to share this one. I'm going to share this guy in a bicycle. And I'm going to share this guy in the fountain that we saw that was so nice. Hello. Okay, I have to click on the right place. Oh, okay, good. So I have two. Uh, I have three photos selected. Now uh, I want to share them. So I go back up here in this blue area, and there's a button called Share. So I click on that, and okay, it says Share Photos. So I've got my three photos right there. I could have more. It doesn't matter. I can add a comment. Um, this is just an example of sharing. This is just a, a comment that will appear when I share it. And then I go down here to two and I can share, I can write who I share it with. So it's Google Plus, so there's a lot of possibilities. And some of you might, I think mom has something set up called family, which is more or less uh, us and Astrid, maybe jean Edouard, maybe UN, I forget. Or you can just put a name. So I'll just put your names. Anka Carver, that's one person. And Douglas Carver is another person. Here. You can see you're both in family. Whoops, I mistyped. There we go. So now I'm sharing with two people. So it's it's kind of important to be careful because you don't want to share with public because then everybody can see your photos. Well, you might want to. 
you don't want to share it with your circles because that's everybody you know on Google Plus, like my friends, I have 37 friends, who knows what that is. So here I just put Anka Carver and Douglas Carver and um, that's, that's, uh, those are the only people who will have access to the photos besides me. Good, so that's done. And so just to recap, I can scroll back up. Here I have, I'm sharing my photos. It's just an example of sharing. I see my three photos. I could do other things like create an album, but we won't go into that. I've sent them. I could also, yeah, whatever. I, and then, so I'm sending them to Anka and Douglas. Very good. And so now I share. And there. Now my album has been shared. I can view my post, whatever, we don't care. Basically, you should be able to see now if you go to your if you go to your email, but no, I I, I might not see it. But um, anyway, you should you should have gotten you should have gotten the thing. I could possibly just check my home just to make sure that this is just kind of a bit complicated because it's the Google Plus universe, which is a bit like Gmail, but normally you should have gotten an, an email message as well as maybe a Google Plus notification. But the email message should be this, and here's the thing that I posted. It's shared privately, so I tap on it, tap on the right thing, shared privately. Does it tell me who I shared with? Yeah, I shared with Anka and Douglas, because you don't have photos, so it's hard to say see who you are. But yeah, it's Anka. If I hover over it, it says Anka and Douglas. OK. I shared it, very good. And these are the photos. So then you 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 should have seen this in example. And then you know you can tap on the photos and see them in more detail. Some guy on a bicycle near the Louis Vuitton in the background. You can't really see it. I'm using the arrow keys here to switch this cool fountain with a kid playing in it, and this ad. Okay. And I close this by clicking here. And that's it. I hope this was not too long and that you can hear it. And that's it. I hope maybe this can help you with sharing. Otherwise, I can show you in person or I can send you another video. That's it for now. Have a nice day. How do I stop this screencast? The first time I use this screencast software. I think maybe like.